many men have never experienced a woman's true attraction. They have never experienced a woman's true intimacy. And we see this in the black pill and incel community. And these are communities where young men, particularly, they congregate and they voice their frustration with the modern dating landscape and how difficult they find it. And it is easy to judge these young men and say that maybe they're not trying hard enough or maybe they are not hitting the gym. And even though I'm a huge proponent of going to the gym and being in the best shape of your life, and I still am and I will not stop that, but they get judged and they get criticized, but and I have done and I am guilty of this, but we have to always look at the underlying issue. We, we have to always look at the deeper issue and get out of the surface issue, surface level issues, because a lot of these young men are staying virgins until almost their 30s. And many of them will remain so. And there are a multitude of reasons for this. And I'm going to get into this. First of all, this is a Terry Talks Midnight Podcast. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. I have been guilty of judging these young men and not necessarily judging them, but dismissing them very early. But and I'm not saying I'm giving an excuse, but with every person, you have to go on a case by case. And sometimes these men do have legitimate grievances because flashback a few decades and a lot of these men would have been paired up. They would have had a wife and they would have maybe had a, had a house and 2.5 kids, you know, what we all know as the American dream. But this has changed in the modern landscape, especially now, especially as we head in the more technological age. And as I alluded to earlier, there is a multitude of reasons. And one, the first one I will talk about is technology. With the advent of social media, the advent of dating apps, the advent of social media apps, people are more socially awkward than they have ever been, which is somewhat of a paradox because you would think uh, something called a social media app would help people be more social, but quite the contrary. A lot of these young men go to work come home and they immerse themselves in a in an alternate reality whether it be video games whether it be social media whether it be scrolling through Instagram whether it be scrolling through TikTok so instead of them going out into the real world sometimes they feel or actually the majority of the times they feel very overwhelmed by the real world so what they do is as they recluse, they go into their safe space at home and they go on social media apps. They go on adult sites, of course, to fulfill that need. OK, they go play video games for hours and this all stunts their social skills because they're spending time on the screen and it doesn't matter how many people you speak to on the screen it is never going to compare to talking to an actual person so this is a huge issue the first one and this isn't to say that these guys are bad let me get this out of the way this is not to say that they are bad they are just extremely misguided in this in this climate and Unfortunately, physical attraction is an important factor 
in this modern landscape, which is going to bring me to the second point. Women nowadays, they have full autonomy, which means they work the same jobs that we do. Right. And a lot of times these uh, women have positions that are actually higher than men. Right. We see there's plenty of supervisors that are women. There's plenty of owners of businesses. Okay. And which means that they get their own money. They have the same jobs that men do. They live in the same neighborhoods. Let me tell you something, fellas. A lot of these women have two jobs. These women have two jobs. And I have witnessed this in real life. They have two jobs. They live in the same area. They're single. They live in the same area that men live in by themselves. So that somewhat cancels out the financial aspect because flashback a couple of decades ago in the 40s, 50s, when the nuclear family was very important, it all depended on the man. So a lot of these men that would that are considered incels today, they would have had they would have probably had a wife and 2.5 kids. OK, but since they don't know about how physical attraction works and it's not only about physical attraction, it is also about what I was talking about earlier about their social awkwardness. OK, but I'll get to that. Pair, pair those two together and you get a recipe for disaster because a lot of these young ladies are looking for hedonistic ventures. OK, they are not looking for relationships. They are looking for men that they find physically and sexually. I will just say that word so that, you know, we all know what I'm talking about. They want men that are sexually attractive, which is why I promote going to the gym, which is why I promote getting yourself into the best shape and making your yourself look as best as possible, because that is going to greatly boost your market, your sex appeal. But a lot of men, they don't know about this. These are these are men that struggle with with the young ladies, right? They are not physically attractive. See, these young ladies, fellas, these young ladies, they are very open, let us say nowadays. They're liberated, okay? They go to different countries, right? They have girls trips. They go to male strip clubs. They go to these different parties. And this is all to engage in hedonistic ventures, right? And this is just the landscape. So they're not engaging in these escapades with men that they don't find sexually attractive, right? They are dealing with men that they do find sexually attractive. And they can do that. It is it's an abundance. Okay? Because like I said earlier, they really don't need men to hold down a household. Hell, there's there's women that buy houses and they can they can buy a house if they want to, right? They can if they wanted to, they can buy a house and they're single. OK, so that's not an issue there. There's nothing really that a man can do that they can't bes besides give them that sexual satisfaction. And unfortunately, a lot of men are going to be left out. Right. A lot of men are going to be left out in that aspect because they're not attractive and the boot, like I said, it's not only about the looks, okay? It's not only about the looks. They're also socially awkward because let's not get it twisted. A lot of average looking men, they get play too, okay? There's even men that are even more on a heavier side and they get play because they have that charisma. A lot of young men, they don't even have charisma, okay? They are socially awkward, which is what I was talking about earlier. So, yes, 
the physicality part doesn't not is not always important but when you do combine it with social awkwardness that's just that's that's a that's a incel that in the making right there right and a lot of these young men they had they just they just don't know how to talk to what they're just very socially awkward because they stay home okay you see how all of this kind of connects to each other all of these problems it's like a spider web it all connects you, you can always one problem always leads to the other it always connects to the other so this is a problem it can be remedied because trust and believe there are men that are late bloomers i was one of them right i was one of them i was a late bloomer i used to get ridiculed right i used to get made fun of and i you know all get called names until i took action and i got my sex appeal up okay and i'm using this as an analogy i'm not saying this about me i'm saying this about other men and how they can change their situation now some men of course they're going to have they are going to have to try harder this is just the facts of life they're going to have to try a little harder okay i'm not gonna sit here and just act like everything is all gravy it goes back to what I was saying earlier. I can't just some of these men have valid grievances. OK, and these men, yes, if they do improve themselves, if they do get themselves in the best in their best form. Physically, mentally, verbally, a lot of it is, is mental, too, fellas. Right. I don't really talk about the mental aspect. A lot of these young men are just mentally, mentally destroyed. Their self-esteem is in the gutters. OK, but it is like I said, it is possible. Some men are going to have to try more than others, and that is OK. Some men are going to get rejected more than others, and that is completely fine. Everyone is different. The point is, we're all going to get rejected, right? We're all going to go through heartbreaks, some more than others. But the worst thing you can do is just give up, right? That's the worst thing you can do. But this is just something to kind of this. This was more of a of a reflection type of podcast, something to reflect on. OK, so anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed.